welcome back everybody to another camping with Tony and Bruce. There he is, hey Brucey. So, it's very wet, very grim, very cold, and we're off to do a uh, one night test camp. We're gonna test a new tent, We've got a new awning, some other gear. It's, hopefully it's gonna be a bit fun. I know Bruce is definitely gonna enjoy it. We're gonna have a fire, we're gonna cook up some good food. Yeah. It's pretty foul out there, I've gotta say. This is very grim. But anyway, catch you at the campsite. gates to forestry gates to open and close uh, and then we've got to cross the stream to get there and I don't think the stream will be very high it shouldn't be too bad oh my god so just got to the first gate and they've closed all the access to it because of forestry they're doing logging and they didn't bother to say anything on the uh, on the website didn't post that update so I've just driven all the way out here for an hour and the site is closed unbelievable okay so I've got to work out a new site and uh, I'll come back to you once I've got a plan Okay, got a plan. There's another site that I think is up here about another 20 minutes. So, fingers crossed, because I don't want to drive all the way back home. And unfortunately, it's a holiday weekend. So, the other sites that are more accessible will be really, really busy. Even in this crap weather, I think people will be camping in their um, camper vans whereas the sites around here are accessed only by high ground clearance 4x4s not SUVs even so you have to be in a proper 4x4 to get to them so fingers crossed we'll come back to you uh, so that was a complete disaster that's closed as well <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do and it's chucking down with rain well look chance I'm going to bail and do some homework and have to just you know plan for a further field trip uh, but it's getting late it's now 4 p.m. and it's winter here in New Zealand so it's going to be dark in just over an hour uh, I can set up in the dark that doesn't bother me that much but what a pain well I'll figure it out and come back to you Okay, one more place to try. This is by the beach. We're meant to be by the river, <laughs> but beggars can't be choosers. And as I said, it's a holiday weekend, so who knows if this is gonna be busy or not. So we're heading to the beach on a four by four track. Let's see how it goes. Fingers crossed, please don't let there be anybody here. Please, please, please. On this holiday weekend. Bruce, you don't want anyone to be here, do you? No. There's the sea, there are the waves. Oh, I see a car. Okay. Might be in luck. I don't know if that person is camping or not. And we're out of ideas now anyway. It looks like it's about to rain. So whatever I do, I need to do it quickly. Okay. camper than me. Alright, and there's a 
caravan over there. Looks like we're in the clear. Okay, let's get camp set up. Come on, Brucey. Help's coming. Right, everybody, welcome back. Bruce, you've got to stay with me. There are people setting up right over there, some big, some big contraption. But I need to get my tent set up, which is on the top here, and I need to get uh, the awning out. It's very windy. Uh, but we should be good. All right, let's get on with this. So I've got the Oz tent. RV3, it's huge, <laughs> it's so heavy. People over there have got two dogs, so I'm gonna to have to keep an eye on Bruce. Wow, that's it. It was that easy. <laughs> it's literally 30 seconds. Tons of space inside. Just got to get the rest of it set up. Now it does come with an awning here that I can set up on the poles. Um, it's got these curtains, these doors, vents, everything. So let's get the awning set up. Okay, so the RV3 comes with two poles. Let me just turn this a bit. Okay, it comes to two poles. So All right. I don't know how good this is going to be in the rain.
Yep, I'm gonna have to climb over the fence. Alright, that's good. Yeah, you know what? Not bad. I think this is gonna do. I don't even think I'm gonna need the guys out. There are guy ropes in each corner. But this looks pretty solid to me. Looks good. All right, it's very, it's getting very dark. I need to get the lights on, I need to get Bruce's dinner. I need to get our dinner. Okay, bedding. My bed, the Oztent Stratus XL mattress. Bruce's bed, outdoor connection dog bed. Camp chair. Okay, we'll get my bed done first. So yeah, this is just a camp mattress. I haven't bought a, a elevated cot this time. So this is self-inflating, but you can pump it up. So I might just leave that to do its thing, just to inflate all by itself, which it should be doing now. Yeah, the foam is filling up. Okay, so we'll leave that for now. Right, let's put Brucey's bed up. So there's plenty of room in here, loads of room. There you go, it's Brucey's bed, all sorted. Okay, now I've gone overkill on sleeping bag tonight, on my quilt. This is a zero, <laughs> zero degree Fahrenheit quilt, but it's okay. That's the beauty of a quilt, is you just open it up, use the pads, pad straps, and you can just kick it off if you get too hot. You don't have to use it as a sleeping bag. The one thing about these enlightened equipment bags though is the zips, not the best. They're not YKK, I don't know what they are, but they snag all the time. It's just, I've got the same problem with all of these. All right. That's all set up. Hey, Brucey. Bruce, is this your bed? Do you want to come up? Come on in. Up, 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 up. That's your bed. Lie down. There you go. So Bruce has got his bed. We're all set. Okay. Got to get all sorts of things done. So I'll bring you back once camp is all set up and I'll explain what I've done. Now, you know what? I've decided I am going to actually open the awning. I've got my Starlink with me, I've got my fridge here, I've got EcoFlow battery, so I want to put it all under here just in case. This is the fire pit, the Winter Well fire pit. Okay. Let's open the awning. OK, 
Okay, I need the straps. So you secure the awning to both ends of the, uh, to the car, to the straps. Then I'll leave this one hooked up on the other side. Okay, let's do this. Have I given myself enough room? Oh no. Right, I've got to move the car forward just, just a foot. All right, that should do it. Yeah, that works, okay. Looking good. All right. So this awning has poles, so I've got to get the poles all set up. Every beam has a pole to it. Solid, it's not going anywhere. Awesome, okay, let me get some more lighting set up. So, I've had to go to the wireless microphone, so I hope you can hear me. It's just that it's so loud. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, now there's glass bit here, so I've got a pad that I need to just stick in the way of that. There you go, okay. I'm laughing. Ah, oh, Bruce is triggered by the light as usual, but everything is good. Oh, I think I need to get Bruce some water. Bruce wants some water. Oh, Brucey, I'm sure he's thirsty. Okay, I've got to get, I've got to plug my fridge in. Here you go, Brucey. Here you go. Go have some water under there. All right, so I've got to plug my fridge in. Um, which means I've got to get the EcoFlow battery pack out. It's so dark now, you're probably not even going to be able to see it. <laughs> Do you know what? It's starting to rain. So I've got this set up just in time. Come on, Brucey, stay over here. Right, so I've got the EcoFlow Max. I need to plug the fridge in. Should be pretty easy. Let's just sort that out. Oops. And then I'll be able to just chill out. But at the moment, I've just got too much to do. Okay, so you turn it on. All right. 
shows me how many hours of charge and everything else we've got left. This is all fully charged. Hey, Brucey. Please don't run over and see those dogs. Yeah, so the dogs came to see Bruce and they didn't get on. <laughs> so I don't think Bruce wants to have anything to do with them. Okay. Well, it's stressful. When you, get, when you get to camp really late and you run out of light, well, and trying to do it on YouTube as well, it gets really stressful. I'm sure that light is annoying you guys, but I need it right now. Okay, let's plug this in. All right, good to go. All right, that's on. Whew. So I've just got it set up as fridge, nothing else. So the sockets are on the back of this thing. So it's easier just to have it facing back. Oh, okay, come on, I'm almost done. Right, I need to get my camp chair sorted. I'm so stressed, I really need to chill out. The noise of the waves, oh my word, it's so loud. I just can't hear myself think. What a journey. So I've been driving two, two hours, two and a bit hours, because the first site was closed backup site was closed so drove all the way around to this spot which has been reliable for me in the past and i do like it here i just it's just loud with the waves and it is constant the waves crashing okay this tent, by the way, is awesome. I have to say, so far, superb. That took 30 seconds to open it up. Okay, you do guy it in, but man, that was quick. Oh, I do this every time. Every time I put it on the wrong way around. <laughs> Honestly, it's a lot harder doing this for YouTube than just doing it by yourself. <laughs> Filming is so hard. Uh, you got to keep thinking, where's the camera? Can you see what I'm doing? Okay. I'm desperate for a beer. Oh, check it out. Oh, the wind has died down, which is nice. Okay, I think what I might do is get the fire pit set up now to get that cranking. So let's do that. Okay, so what we've got here is the winner well. I think it's called winner well, yeah. The winner well fire. And it is very pretty. <laughs> Okay, so that slots in like that, and that's it. It's easy as that. Right, wood. Okay, I've got recycled kindling, uh, samba fire lighters, matches, and some recycled timber, wood. Right. I know, Bruce, you want your dinner. Let's get the fire light first. Oh. Want to get the fire lit, sorry, and then have a drink next to it. <laughs> Easy life. Okay, let's do this. This should be relatively straightforward. This is the fire lighter. Let's put some kindling at the bottom. Just as a sort of a a base here. Okay, you light the fire lighter. At least that's the plan. Look at the size of these matches. Wow, sir. Apparently, you just light the packet and it goes. 
Hey, there it is. Okay. All right, let's put some more kindling on. It's an interesting design. You can't really get much traction here, I don't think. Oh no, okay. All right. Firelight is doing its thing. And um, we'll just chuck some big logs on as well. Let's get a really good fire going. Okay, let's leave that to do its thing. Right, I need a beer to go with this. Oh, desperate. Oh, that's nice. That's so good, isn't it, Brucey? Hey, look at that. How hot is that? Yeah, cheers, everybody. I hope you can see me. Wow. That's pumping off a lot of heat. So it's about seven degrees centigrade. It's pretty cold. Don't know if you can see me actually. It's quite dark. Let me put the light on for you. Okay. Now you can probably see me. I don't know. No, you still can't. <laughs> oh man, it is dark. How's that? Is that better? There you go. Ooh, amazing. Cheers. Wow, this fire is giving off so much heat. Amazing, best fire I've ever had. <laughs> Let me just turn the camera around a bit for you. Uh, you can see it a bit better now. And because the wood, I, I bought this wood from the store because it's uh, so dry. There's just no, but barely any smoke. I tell you what, I'm absolutely starving. I might have to get dinner on early. But this is nice. And there's no rain. It's meant to rain in the middle of the night. Hey, Brucey, come here. Come on, come here. Come on. Okay, it's dinner time. So Bruce is gonna want his dinner. And I need mine urgently. Um, so let's do Bruce's dinner first. Then I'm gonna find what I've done with his bowl. What have I done with his bowl? Oh no, I'm such a mess. Right, so Bruce is gonna have um, his special lamb 
Booster on your dinner. Uh, okay. Well, luckily, my fridge has a light. So yeah, as I said, it's it's winter here, and I mean, luckily, it's not too cold at the moment. It has been really cold, but it's sort of just single digit. I might actually put my thick jacket on. Oh, that's better. Nothing like a puffer jacket to sort you out. Okay, Bruce's dinner is here. Bruce, do you want your dinner? <laughs> He's running all over the place. I don't know if you can see him. He doesn't eat at the same time as me. Oh, that's a lot of food, Bruce. Yum. Jimbo's lamb, hyperallergenic. Here we are. Ah, Bruce is all sorted. We've got burgers. And Bruce has finished his dinner already. Okay, so we've got burgers, so let me just crank. I'm gonna do them on the air fryer. Nice and easy. It's the beauty of this EcoFlow system is it runs this, and I've got a spare battery for the EcoFlow that I can plug in as well. Uh, that plugs into the side that will double its capacity to, I think it's 4,000 kilowatts, which is insane. All right. Got some cheese, got my burgers, some onion, tomato ketchup, and mustard, and course a beer to go with it <laughs> easy life okay what else have I got I think that's it now you can use oil in the air fryer but I tend not to the reason I don't use the oil is I just don't think you need to with the air fryer All right, <laughs> so excited because I'm so hungry. The air fryer just makes it all so much easier. Okay, now this is a small, let me take, get rid of this. This is a small air fryer, not very big. Okay, it's up to temperature. Right, so we will put the burger's in for just five minutes. Okay, they go in five minutes, then we'll turn them over, put the cheese on. Oh, onions, what am I doing? I've got to chuck the onions in there as well. Big mistake. Mustn't forget those. Okay, onions go on for five minutes with the burgers. So if I had the display the other way on this EcoFlow, you could see what it's drawing, what power it's drawing. But because the sockets are all on this side, I need the sockets here so I can see those. Because um, I haven't got enough cable length to really mess around moving anything. Well, I could try. Let's have a look. Is this gonna end in catastrophe? Watch this space. 
Oh no, it worked. Okay, so on the front, it's basically telling me on this display that I've, I'm using 1.4 kilowatts of power, 1400 watts. And at this rate, uh, this battery is going to last just over an hour, an hour and a half maybe. Um, as I said, I've got another one that I can put on top and plug into the side here, into this big socket. I think you can run two of those on top of this and that pretty much doubles the capacity. Right, so in the meantime, beer. Now I need to put Bruce's collar on so I can see where he is all the time. The only thing is I didn't charge it properly. So it doesn't have much charge. Bruce, come here. Come on, let's put your collar on. Bruce. See, I have no idea where he is. Bruce. Come on. Oh, there you are, you're behind me. <laughs> Hang on. Let me put this on. Oh no, it doesn't have enough power, Brucey. Okay, I've got to wait, I've got to charge it more. Sorry, Bruce, it will, it will, we'll put it on in a bit. Go on then, off you go, you can go and play. All right, we'll leave that to charge. So there's a wind coming from this side. It's a bit of a pain. Let me check on my fire. Right, so I want the fire just to turn into coals so I can just sit by it. No smoke at all, all good. Right, I also need my burger buns. I know where I'm going to be eating this, I'll tell you that. Round there by the fire, because the tent is blocking all of the wind. I am so hungry, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe two single burgers, see how I feel, and keep this as backup burger, just in case. Because you never know what happens get stranded. It would be nice to have a backup. Right, mustard. This is Coleman's English mustard. It's the best basically. I think Bruce can smell the burgers because he's He's come back round. This isn't for you, Bruce, this is for me. Oh, so hungry. So, this awning is brilliant. The only thing is, if it was chucking with rain, you're only just covered here. Um, but you can get these Velcro attachments, like these walls, to stick along the side. Um, but you'd have plenty of cover on the other side. Ah, okay, turn the burgers over. Okay, three minutes. And then the cheese will go on top. Emmental. I'm starving, I've got to have a taste. Mmm, nice. Wow, very tasty. Emmentaler. Mm-hmm. So I can see Bruce running back and forth here. <laughs> I really need the collar on him, but it's not gonna, it's not working. And I haven't got another little light that I can put on him. 
I wonder if I could put this around him. Or is it too big, too small? Let me try. Bruce, come here. Come here. Let's try and put this on you. We'll see. I'm not sure this is going to work. It mustn't be too tight, but it must be like a collar. Okay, go on then. Oh, that works. Over there, come over here, come on. Oh, it works, I can see him now. See, <laughs> I don't know if you can see him running around behind me. Let me have a look. Probably not, but I'll, what I'll do is I'll move, there he is. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, Brucey. Okay, the camera's struggling to decide who to focus on, me or Bruce. But you can see him there. He's by the Starlink dish. So the reason I need Starlink out here is no mobile phone signal at all. And I need to stay in touch with Anne. Um, she's uh, off traveling and I need to keep in contact with her. And it's amazing, Starlink out here, even out here, you can see the speed that you can get. Watch this. That's pretty insane. That is crazy, and I am in the middle of nowhere. I hope that's coming up on the camera. <laughs> 233 down, 37.6 up. Crazy, crazy speeds. Oh, Brucey. Honestly. Right. I think my burgers are ready. I'm just going to give the onions a bit longer. Oh, the burgers are definitely ready. Look at that. Beautiful. Lovely. Yum. Yeah, I just want... Just want the onions to cook a bit more. Oh, I didn't do the cheese. Oh no. Okay, <laughs> I'm cocking everything up. We put the cheese on. Ah, how can I forget the cheese? So am I gonna get away with two layers of cheese? I think so. All right, so with the cheese on, it just goes back in for a minute. And that's all. Oh, I'm, I'm so hungry, I'm making mistakes. Uh-oh, I've lost power. I don't know what happened there. I lost my power. That's odd. Ah, oh, no, it's okay. I just hadn't set the timer. Oh my God, I'm making so many mistakes. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's because I'm so hungry. And because I got here late and I scrambled to get everything done and it's dark. I've never had to set up camp in the dark before like this for YouTube. Well, I'm by myself, no problem. But when you're doing it for YouTube and you're trying to film and I've got Bruce with me. Bruce. Oh. I can't even be bothered to try and keep track of him. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for coming. <laughs> This is a crazy camp. Ah. 
let's check. Let's check the fire. Oh yeah, the fire is good. Oh, that is cranking. Look at Brucey with his headlight. Go, 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 Bruce. <laughs> good boy. What a camp, what a setup. Look at this. Got my fire, brilliant tent. I've got Brucey, I've got satellite internet. Look inside the tent. Isn't that amazing? So cozy. Oh, just saw Bruce run past it. So I've got these mesh windows on each side and there's a massive mesh window all the way along the back if I wanted to open it. But it's winter, so I won't. Got everything set up. Oh, God, hang on. I might have left this in too long. Nope, perfect. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. <laughs> oh, look at that. Does it get better? Onions. Oh God, I'm so hungry. Okay, that's off. Tomato ketchup. Dinner is served. Two delicious cheeseburgers with onion, mustard. Yum. Okay, let's go and eat. So I think, actually, I'll take my puffer jacket off because it's pretty warm in front of the fire. Oh. <laughs> I'm ready for this. Can you even see me? Hello. There you go. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is, this is the life. It really is. <laughs> oh, I'm ready. Come on. Let's eat. Mmm. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Wow. Amazing. This is superb. Mm. Smoke. Wow. Even with this wind chill, it's so hot in front of this fire. So good.
Oh, the wind is picking up. And the wind is picking up, but the fire is, is so warm. It's, it's just giving off so much heat, it's great. I think this thing is actually glowing red hot. The ground is actually very wet. It did rain earlier. So this is, it's quite drenched, so it's quite safe on this wet grass. Okay, I'm gonna take my time with the second one. Come back to you for cigars. Welcome back everybody, cigar time. I haven't put the lights on on the camera because it's just the, the light by the fire is so beautiful. I just want to keep it like that. I hope you can see me. <laughs> ah, so we've got a Monte Cristo number four. And as soon as I start talking, Bruce has run off. Very difficult to do this in the wind. Mm. Monte Cristo number four, superb cigar. Cheers, everyone. Uh, the, the tent is acting as a, as a windbreak. So the wind is sort of coming through here. So when I'm sitting here, no wind. It's, it's quite nice. And I've chucked all the logs now on the fire. That's everything. The trouble with pine is it just burns so quickly. Yeah, it's over and done with very, very quickly. I need to mix some, next time try and get some gum or something like that, eucalyptus. Something hard, some hardwood, yeah. So the setup. Well, the, the wind is, the wind is insane. Wow. I like this tent. I haven't guided out. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. I, I might guide out tonight before I go to bed. I don't think it needs it, but better to be safe than sorry. I mean, we're by the beach, anything could happen. Wow, this wind is just suddenly out of nowhere. It's because I've started talking. Mm. It was so calm when I was sitting here before with dinner. Now it's, it's howling. I hope it's not messing up the microphone too much. 
there's not much I can do about it. It's just, it's just constant wind We're by the beach. Bruce, come here. What have you found? You look very disheveled. What are you up to? He's loosened his torch somehow. Okay. Come and sit. Come and rest. Here. Come around here. Come on. Come and chill out a bit. Here. Come around here. Come on. Come and lie down. Come on. Lie down, Bruce. Brucey, lie down. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's impossible to, you know, control him. So, what's been going on? So this setup, yeah, I like it. I love this tent so far. We'll see. It was so easy to set up. Could this be the new tent? Who knows? I'm always on the lookout for a better tent. And this is Oz Tent from Australia. The awning on the car, which is on the truck, which is superb, is from Iron Man 4x4. All this stuff I just got. In fact, the awning was only installed yesterday. Uh, this morning was the first time I had a chance to actually turn it on, uh, to open it up. So we will see. I'll judge everything in the morning. I might actually have to move to in front of the tent because the wind has changed direction again. Okay, let me move. Oh, okay, that's much better. But now I've got this weird light above me. <laughs> it must look a bit creepy. Mm. Well, I might have to turn that off and turn this one on. Hold on, I'm getting there. Oh, okay, I hope that's better. So the setup, yeah, I like it so far. <laughs> I'm gonna get there eventually. Um, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm liking it. I like having this awning built into the tent. I think that's something that all tents should have if they can. I like how stable this is, how quick it is to set up. Yeah, excellent. Apparently it's waterproof. We will see. I do have a rainfly for it, I just haven't fitted it this time. Maybe if I do a two-nighter, or if I know there's heavy rain coming, then I'll put the rainfly on, but it's not meant to be heavy. Uh, and it's meant to happen tomorrow morning, tonight and tomorrow morning. So uh, everything about this just looks robust, so I doubt I'm gonna need it. But we'll see. I've got the gas cylinder with me, so I've got a heater in there for tonight, in case it gets cold. I've had some great food. Everything is good. Got a fire, even though I can't sit by it now. And that thing is glowing red hot. It's amazing, underneath, I can see it. But I am getting waves of warm air coming down here, so that works, but I'm completely out of the wind now. This is why I like having an awning or a tarp. I have to say, this is a hell of a lot easier to set up than my usual tarps. So what's been going on? Oh, the usual. Oh, uh, you remember I spoke about uh, the little boy Brandt who was going in for um, surgery. Surgery was a success. So kidney's okay, he's doing okay, all is good. I got the message from his mum. So good on you Brandt, well done. Proud of uh, what you uh, have gone through. Keep cranking. Mm. So what else? I went to see Jurassic World. Is it Dominion? I can't remember the, la the latest one. Where are we? We're June 20 something, 2022. June 20th, June 22nd, 23rd, 
and just in case you're not aware, it is winter here. I have to keep saying that because people don't get it. It's winter in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, yeah, I thought it was rubbish. <laughs> I'm sure lots of people loved it. I just thought it was a bit naff, especially after seeing uh, Top Gun, Maverick, and then to go and see Jurassic World Dominion, they just tried to fit too much in and it just, none of it to me added up. It was all just a copy of the first one and not very good copy, to be honest. So definitely not impressed. I don't recommend it. Um, what else? Formula One, it looks like Mercedes are finally getting uh, grips, getting to grips with their issues. So maybe we'll see a three-way race between Red Bull, Ferrari and Mercedes at some point this year. It'd be amazing to see if Lewis Hamilton can continue his streak of winning a race every single year he's been in Formula One. If he doesn't win a race this year, it'll be the first time ever. And that will be the end of that record. I'm gonna steer well clear of politics and current affair, current events because they're all rubbish as usual. The world is in a dire state. Our leaders are still screwing absolutely everything up. And uh, it's best just not to talk about it. <laughs> because <laughs> it's so grim. Oh, I wanted to talk about um, my last camp, which was in the snow. And I walked up in the snow. It's had a lot of views and a lot of people seem to really like that. I did enjoy that camp. Um, yeah, felt really good. I managed to have a decent fire for a change. The snow was beautiful. It was epic. It was just I loved that camp. If you haven't seen it, go and watch that. Uh, my lot, the one before this, camping in the snow. It was just so beautiful on the mountain. Loved it. As much as I do enjoy these truck camps, because they're much easier. Something about camping in the snow. Oh, you got to try it. I don't think I'm going to rant about anything this time. <laughs> unless, unless I can think of something to rant about. I wanted to just keep this one quick, simple, easy, because I'm just happy here. The sound of the waves is just relentless. And it just, it's just non-stop pummeling, it's so loud. I, th I still am torn between, do I like this? or do I prefer the sound of a river, a stream? I don't know, the jury's out. I think, yeah, I'm not sure. You know what I need to go with this? I need a hot chocolate. So let's put a hot chocolate on. Right, hot chocolate. So I've got my kettle. So this should be very quick, easy. Plug this into the EcoFlow. <laughs> Didn't mean to splash that. And put that on. So this EcoFlow system has, oh, I heard the fans come on. Yep, fans just came on. Because I've turned that on, the fans have come on. Um, the EcoFlow has, I think, it's, I think this has got a 20, 2600 watt out it power capability and a 4600 watt surge. So it's pretty impressive. As soon as I started the kettle, this is, cranked into fan mode. How much power has it got left? 41%. Hmm. Sorry, 84% power left. It's got, and it says at this rate, which is doing flat out now at 2.3 kilowatts. Because I guess I've got the fridge plugged in, that's running, I've got the kettle and I've got the Starlink running. 
So that's cranking, and this is saying it's got 41 minutes left. So here's the other battery. And what happens is, if you plug this in, so you just put that on. Just make sure you can see this. So, it comes with this handy little holder at the top here. Got a very meaty cable. Plug that in. It should, oh, the kettle's boiled already. <laughs> so quick. There we go. And this should just turn on automatically. Yep, it did. All right, so it's recalculating now. So let me show you what that looks like. So there's the master unit. See, 81%. And it's just used, output is 40, 40 watts. And then there's the secondary unit now. And that's at 100%, that's got 28 hours. So yeah, together, that's a mighty system. Yeah, great power pack. All right, kettle is boiled. Time for hot chocolate. I should point out the beers that I'm having. I hope you can hear me by the way, I'm on the GoPro. Um, the beers that I'm having are non-alcoholic. <laughs> For anyone who knows me, I'm still on the wagon. I haven't had a drink yet in 2022. So I'm just training, 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 training. Okay. Hot chocolate done. Uh, I don't know if it's possible, but I think the waves have got even louder. <laughs> oh, that was hot. That was so hot. Mmm. <laughs> Need to let that cool down a bit. Ah. Uh. Now, this is my idea of luxury camping. A good tent, a fire, even though I can't sit next to it now because it's just too windy. It just negates the effect of the fire because of the wind chill. I like that wood burner though, the fire pit. That's pretty good. Yeah, winner, winner well, winner well, yeah. So, Anything else been going on? Not really, just modifications to the truck. Got bigger tires fitted. They're 33s, 33 inch tires. A lot more stable. Uh, I had 32s on there before. Just didn't have a, as good a traction. Hmm. Got extended fuel tank. So it was an 80 liter fuel tank and now it's 140 liter. Hey Brucey, come here. How are you doing? Hey. How are you doing? He wants a treat. Do you want a treat? I've got you some organic pig's ears here. Okay, now how do we get into them? Ah. And thank you again, everyone, for the treats for myself and Bruce on Buy Me a Coffee. And I haven't done this for a long time, so I'm putting the names uh, somewhere, here or there, uh, of everyone who's bought us treats on buymeacoffee.com, everyone who's uh, joined our YouTube channel, and everyone who's bought merch, and everyone who's given donations, thanks on the comments and things like that. Come on then, Brucey. Come on. There you go. Oh, oh, okay. He's lying at my feet eating it. 
yeah, just a thank you to everybody um, for buying the merch and stuff like that. It's it's all it all helps to go towards all <laughs> all the expenses of buying all this gear to test. And I don't do a lot of sponsor stuff at all. I buy pretty much everything. EcoFlow have sponsored me for this. Uh, the reason is I needed a battery system, a powerful battery system, and I looked at them all. I looked at Bluetti and others and Jackery, and I just like this the most. And the company was really great to talk to and communicate with. Um, and the customer service was superb. So they've sent me a couple of these battery packs and solar panels to go with it. Obviously, there's no point me using the solar panels on a one-nighter. Don't need to. And also, I don't think it's going to be very sunny tomorrow. It's going to be raining. But I've got a road trip coming up. Might be my next camp. I'm going to do a road trip down south, where it will be cold. And I might stagger that into multiple videos of different nights going to different spots that are just beautiful. Might camp in some snow, truck camping in the snow with Brucey. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to need that battery pack system, need it fully charged. Uh, you can charge it on the road as you're driving as well, which is, is very handy. See, so yeah, I'm very, very picky about sponsors and I think I've only done two or three, four at most. Um, I would just rather be completely unbiased. I did a lot of research on this EcoFlow before I accepted uh, sponsorship for this. So it's a very good system. They also sent me an air conditioning unit, but it's winter now, so I can't use it. Um, I wish it had a reverse cycle so it could heat as well. That would be awesome. Um, but I know that that would probably just be too overwhelming for the power supply. Yeah. So. Uh, the smoke is coming straight through here. Um, but yeah, I can't wait till it warms up so I can use the EcoFlow air conditioning system. It looks very, very good. I did test it at home and it's very powerful. Oh, it's still so hot. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. And it's just, you saw how quick it was to boil the water in the kettle. Was that less than a minute? And someone needs to go back and time it and let me know how many seconds that was to boil the water. It would take ages with gas. And in this wind, the gas might blow out as well. It won't be as efficient. Okay, everybody. The cigar is almost gone. I think I'm just going to chill out. <coughs> oh. I'm going to chill out, listen to the waves, enjoy the rest of my cigar and my hot chocolate. I'll bring you all back for bedtime. Thanks again, everyone, for coming. Really means the world to me. Um, I think we're almost about to hit 120,000 subscribers. And you've been fantastic. Beautiful comments. I ignore all the other ones now, as you know. Um, but for all those that give nice comments, who are respectful and polite, and genuine fans and just this is for you this type of camping is for you for the people who don't like this stuff that's okay we ignore them because it's not for them so it doesn't bother me but it, this is for you the people who really love it and all my regular commenters i do see all your comments i, I just can't respond it, it, i can respond maybe on the first day after that it's just overwhelming overwhelming I think I get something like 500 comments a day. Um, and 
it's, it's just too, it's too much, I can't keep up. And YouTube Studio doesn't make it easy to keep up with all these comments because they come from all sorts of different videos as well, not just my latest. And so keeping track of it all, <laughs> it's so difficult. I can see why people like, ah, um, oh, I was gonna say, actually, yeah, that was one thing. A YouTuber that I watch a lot of, and I've really got back into him again, is Mav. Maverick Juice. Maverick Juice. And um, he's got a truck, he's a young guy, great personality, and he drives around all over the place in North America, and I think he's in Canada right now. I saw he was in Nova Scotia, his last one. He cooked lobster, ah, oh, it was a great video, I loved that. People say to me, why don't you just sleep in the back of the truck like Mav? He's got an F-150, you can't really get those here. Oh, the wind. Um, and I've got a Ford Ranger. He's got a Ford F-150. To put that into context, the, the liner, the boot liner, the trunk liner of the F-150, I think is like six foot four and much higher, much, much higher. Yeah, whereas this is only, I think, five foot, if, if that. Um, so you can't sleep in the back of that, just no way. Well, I can't, it's, 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 I just couldn't do it. It's not enough room. So, the only way you can sleep in the back of a truck is if you've got one of those big American ones. Um, these ones, the Ford Rangers, etc. they just don't do it. They're not big enough. So yeah, Mav, I'm enjoying following him. Keep it up, Mav, very entertaining. Um, and I just love his style, I love his freedom. He's alone. Is he lonely? Probably some of the time on the road he is lonely. It's probably quite tough. Um, it is nice to share these experiences with people. But um, it looks like he's sort of enjoying himself, living the dream at the moment. So keep it up. So yeah, Mav, I would definitely recommend his channel, MAV. Okay. Bring you back for bedtime. Well, it's a bit later and it's cold out there. Temperature has really plummeted. So I'm in the tent. Everything, all the doors closed, but I've got my heater on. It is so hot in here now. Um, it's crazy. It's so hot. I've got the vents open everywhere. So no carbon monoxide risk. Um, and it has started to rain, I can just hear it now. So I will have to close the side vents, but I've got the top vents open. But it is, I've only had this on a couple of minutes and it is stupidly hot. It's crazy hot. Whew. This is a hot tent, if you know what I mean. I've got so much room. I've got Brucey down here. You can't see him, but his whole bed is here. He's wagging his tail. Let me just tilt the camera down so you can see him, because I know you do want to see him. Oh, there he is, at my feet. Oh, I've got to sort the camera out. This is very difficult. There you go. Oh, wow, when I stand up, <laughs> the heat up here is insane. It's just so quick. 
to get so hot in here? It's because of this thick canvas material. It just holds the heat really, really well. In fact, that's, that's so hot. The trouble with this buddy heater is it's on or off. You can't turn it down. So I've got the gas tank outside. The brilliant thing about this tent is there's a little zip in the corner and that's for electrical leads, things like that. But I've got the gas lead running through there. It's just in that corner and the zip seals it back up again so no insects can come in because the insects were crazy outside for the lights. Um, but the mesh is so good in here that there's just no chance of getting in. I don't know what the temperature is in here now, but it's got to be... Hmm. It's got to be 30 degrees centigrade. <laughs> it's, it's so hot. It's, like it's in the 90s. I, I had to ditch the jump. It was so hot, I had to ditch my sweater. I might have to, um, I might have to turn the heater off. And he's just spread out. It's way too warm for him. Yeah, it's just, he's sleepy. He's not going to need a blanket or anything. Well, he doesn't anyway. He never has a blanket. Even, even when we're up in the snow, he kicks the blanket off him. He just doesn't want it. He's just so warm. And in here, oh my God, this is way too warm for him. Yeah, I've got to turn that off. It's a shame you can't turn it down, but it's, it's on or off. Okay, that's off. Oh. Be interesting to see how long the heat stays in here. Yeah, so we've got these vents at the side here. I'll close those now. Because if it rains, you need these closed. They're not waterproof. Look how much room I've got in here. This is just brilliant. This is, it's kind of like the Wawona. The North Face Wawona 610, or the 4, even, um, I'd say. It's like the 4. But it's just, it's just comfortable. Yeah, so this is the RV3. It's meant to be, they say, for three people. Yeah, you could sleep three people in here, yeah, absolutely. But for one person and his dog, or one person in all of his gear, it's brilliant. The only problem with this tent is it is enormous when it's packed down. It's, I think it's almost two, it's two meters long in its case. And it weighs, what, 20 kilos? That's, that's, two people should be using this. Not really just one. But I tell you, for me, and Bruce is absolutely perfect because I like him to have his, his bed which he's got he's comfy yeah I've got my full bed here I could have my sit on bed and sit on that instead but I brought my chair in because <laughs> there's so much room and I can stretch my legs out just pushing against the edge here the material is super super thick super thick what is it PVC I don't know this is the thickest material I've ever seen in any tent that I've had. Crazy. All right, everyone, I'm gonna chill. It's, it's not that late, so I'm gonna chill, maybe watch a movie, and come back to you at bedtime. Oh, welcome back, everybody. Well, it's bedtime. Isn't it, Brucey? I've got a sneaking suspicion Bruce is going to end up here, lying next to me. Oh, I'm tired. And it's... It's raining. Not heavily. But the wind has definitely picked up. The tent is flapping, well, moving quite a bit at the front. But you know what? It's, it's doing well. Bruce is hot because I've had the heater on and it's just been so hot in here. It's crazy. Alright everyone. 
we're comfy. I'm comfy on this mattress so far. Oh yeah, I tell you, it feels good. Very good. Very comfy on the back. So, I guess nothing more to it, but see you in the morning. So far, love this tent, really do. It's big, spacious, warm. We'll see if it can cope with the elements. Let's hope it does. Let's hope I'm not in the truck <laughs> like I have been before here. All right, everyone. See you in the morning. Night, night. Night, Brucey. Night, night. Night, everybody. Morning. How are you doing? Oh, sorry, I hit the off button. How are you doing? Hey. Morning. Oh, Brucey. Oh, gosh. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Brucey. Oh. <laughs> Morning. Oh, tired boy. Oh. <laughs> Knock the camera out of my hand, Bruce. Oh, it's a nightmare. It keeps knocking the camera. It keeps going off. Hey. Morning. Oh, he had a good sleep in his bed. Didn't you? Oh, morning, everybody. <laughs> this is normal. Morning, Brucey. Come and have a cuddle. Oh, come on. Come and have a cuddle. Hey. Morning. Morning. We have fun today. I slept well. It was nice and warm, obviously. I'm in a minus 17, zero degree Fahrenheit bag. Um, there's a bit of condensation in here, but not much. Actually, a tiny amount. I'm surprised. I thought there'd be more. Oh my God, he's on me. No, Bruce, this isn't the way out. He thinks that's the way out. No, 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 that's the way out. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. Someone needs to go out and pee. I've got to let him out. Am I? Mm. I not. And it's raining, albeit gently at the moment. I know. I'm desperate to go out and see what's going on out there. Okay, I've got to get up. I've got to get him out and go to the toilet. And I'll come back to you. Well, I've got the heater cranking. Bruce is ready to go out. Let's, let's head out. See what we can see, hey Brucey? Now, I was wrong. The ceiling is soaked. Can I do this one-handed? Yeah. The ceiling is absolutely soaked. So, I've had to wipe it down. It's dry now, but it was drenched. And it would have started dripping as well, which would have been a big problem. Bruce is desperate. Oh, it's cold out there. Oh, it's cold. Cold rush of air. Come on then. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. What a view to wake up to. Beautiful. No pooling on the top. Oh, tiny bit of water came. A little bit of pooling at the end here. But otherwise, all okay. Yeah, relatively, so it's dry on the sides. It's on the top. doesn't look like it's treated that much. So some of the water is staying. It does have, it looks like it's got some w, DWR treating on it. So I've got a, a, a rain fly that goes over the top of this. Can you see it's steaming? That's because the heater is on inside. And it zips to the top of this. So it gives you a double layer. And 
with that double layer, and it comes all the way down here as well, so you can keep these doors open. With that double layer, it means you don't get the condensation. I just didn't bring it with me this time. Uh, yeah, that's, that's worked out quite well. Wow, still quite a bit of water on this tarp. It did rain quite a bit in the middle of the night. Fire's out, everything burns out, which is good. I've got to take Bruce for a walk on the beach. Okay, let me get some things sorted out and I'll come back to you. I, I noticed there was a big pool of water just here. Um, oh, yeah. I didn't get it all off. So I think you, in the heavy rain, you do have to guy these out. Yeah, a lot of water coming off the back here. So guying it out. So there's guy points here. And I guess you, the trick is you pull it down and then all the rain will flow. I just didn't bother. <laughs> so next time I will guy it out. Okay, I need to get a coffee on and Bruce is going to want his breakfast urgently. Okay, I need to get everything out of the back of the truck. Because I put it all up here last night. All right, the rest of Brucey's food. A big portion, Bruce. Here you go, Brucey. See him sitting, he's such a good boy. All right, I wanna put that here so you can see him having his, his chow. Go on then. <laughs> right, okay, I need a coffee. You can't actually see him, can you? Hold on. Because I've just realized it's raining. Okay, coffee. So this EcoFlow is definitely the way to go. There's actually an app for it as well that, can you see me or am I too tall for this? Hold on. It's a constant struggle with the camera. There's an app for it as well, uh, which I will show you in a bit, that shows its usage and how much is left on it. So someone time that, see how long that takes. I guarantee it's quicker than gas. So I can hear the fans have come on so I know it's working. It's cranking out the power. Okay, coffee. going with a Nescafe flat white that doesn't want to open. Okay, who is timing that? It's boiled.
Was that a minute? Maybe. Now I can sit down, look out at the waves. Ah, oh, hey Brucey. Woo. I know. I think I need to walk Bruce. So I'm going to take Bruce for a walk and have my coffee and let him have a little run around. Come on then Bruce, let's go for a walk. <sighs> Apart from a bit of drizzle, it's not a bad morning. So you can see there's another camper just over past me. I think they've got a rooftop tent, car tent. So here's my setup, now you can probably see it. Not too shabby. You see what I mean now about these straps that hold the awning in place. I mean, I could fine tune it to make sure it doesn't capture the rain anymore, pool like it did before. But it's a good setup. Go on, Brucey. And oh, there's a caravan. Great setup. <laughs> oh man. Oh, there's two camp. There's a camper van and a caravan. And it looks like they're doing forestry around here. So that hill is being stripped. You can see there's a massive excavator on the top of the hill. and they're working on it over there as well. I guess all the pine is ready for harvesting. Bruce can't hear me, the waves are so loud. Once you're at the front there, it's, it's kind of quieter here, but when you're standing at the front, it's, it, yeah, when you're standing at the front there, it's so loud. We'll have a quick look down on the beach. I'll bring you back from there. It's just a couple of minutes walk to get down there. Okay. And we're at the beach. With my coffee. So those are the people right at the end there, you probably can't see them with the kids, they've got a rooftop tent. Actually they've got a trailer tent, it's massive, god, that's huge, and two dogs. Bruce is raring to go, ready, go, 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 go on Bruce, ready, ready, go, 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 go on, go, go, go Bruce, one, two, three, go, 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 oh Bruce. No, he's not running, he usually runs into the water. Yeah, beautiful morning. A little bit of blue sky. Oh, there's some rain clouds coming. Okay, Bruce, we need to get back because I haven't got a raincoat with me. Okay, I'm gonna play with Bruce a little bit longer on the beach, enjoy my coffee. 
bring you all back at camp. Hey. Right, Bruce has had his, his little walk. Now I think it's time for me to cook my breakfast. Okay, so what do we got? Oh, you know what, I need to actually, uh, I can't see from the other side how much power this thing's got left. <laughs> Let me fix that first. Okay, so I've got Brucey right at my feet. It's the worst possible place for him to lie. But he's doing that because he thinks there might be food. <laughs> oh, he's a character. He thinks I might drop something. <laughs> oh, and he's right, I did. Okay, so yeah, I've hooked up the, my app to the battery bank. You can see it here. So hopefully that's in focus. It shows exactly what's available. Um, so according to this, I've got 26% uh, of my battery left. If I bought the other one out and plugged that in, it would be, it would be full, it'd be fully charged. But I don't need to plug that in really for what I'm about to do. Hopefully, we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't run out. Okay, so for breakfast, we are gonna have waffles and bacon. So what I will do first, because I don't think I can run both of these at the same time. So this is 900 watts, my waffle maker, and my air fryer. Oh, I'm making such a mess. <laughs> okay, air fryer. Let's see what this is. It's important to get the wattage right. My air fryer is 1300 watts. Oh, it does have enough capacity, but that with the fridge? Don't know, but we'll give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Bruce, can you move? Sorry, good boy. All right, so let's get the waffle maker set first, and we want that on level five. You know what I might do is, I might actually plug the extra one in. Because I got a feeling that's not gonna be enough. So let me get the other one. Okay. All right. And this will easily have enough. This really is very simple. Okay. So that should automatically switch it on. It has, and now it's showing, it's actually charging. All right, let's crank this all up. So we want the waffle maker in. And we want the air fryer in. Okay. Oh, the fans have come on. So, I think this unit here is actually being used to recharge this unit here. And that, that's just how it's working. Um, so this is just outputting 1,000 watts. Okay, good stuff. Okay, let's heat the air fryer as well, 180. Let's see if that works. So our output, oh, the fans have come on really fast. So output is now 2100 watts. So it's really cranking, really cranking. And you can see on the line chart here, the line going up, just the power draw. Yeah, it's doing a good job. All right, cool. Yeah, 
Now, I've got a lot of experience now using this waffle maker. It never takes as much as you think it should. Henderson's Manuka Smoked Middle Bacon. Very good stuff. All right, waffle maker's ready. Okay, don't add too much. All right. Now the bacon, let's have a look in on that. Oh yeah, it's cooking. Oh yes, the waffle machine is rising. Hopefully that was just the right amount. It's lifted up, good stuff. All right, waffles are done. Oh, perfect. Wow. An absolutely perfect waffle. So I just need the bacon and then we're sorted. Temperature suddenly dropped. Oh yeah, here comes the rain. Oh boy. So I am just covered, but you can see my breath. It's cold. I am just covered from the rain, but if there's a slight breeze, there's just no chance. You'd be, you'd be very wet. You'd have to have this rear, ugh. You'd have to have this rear deflector screen installed just here to shield you from the rain. So that might be something that I get. Uh, then, then this is completely usable in the rain because you can just box off this one corner. And it's just attached by Velcro. All right, how's the bacon? Getting there. Lashings of maple syrup. Waffle machine is a lot easier than making pancakes. Okay, these are done. Oh yeah, bacon is done. Lovely, Manuka bacon. Okay, and even Bruce is gonna get a bit once it's cooled down. So I need to put this in his bowl. Not much, very salty, it's not good for him. He's just had a big breakfast as well. Okay, it's up for you, Brucey. All right, Bruce can have his at the same time. All right, let's go eat. <laughs> Here you go, Brucey. Good boy. Go on then. Yep, go on. All right. I forgot to bring a table. I should bring a table so I don't have to eat on my lap all the time. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's all so good. So, 
There's so much warm air coming out the temp because I've got the heater on. Oh, I'm toasty, even though the temperature is cold, I'm toasty warm. And you, you'll probably start to see the rain now. It's just gentle drizzle at the moment. Mmm. So good. Go and make yourself some waffles and bacon, <laughs> maple syrup, honestly. Eat it at the same time. You'll appreciate what I'm appreciating right now. I've got the view of the sea and the waves. I've got Brucey with me, I've got Warm air rushing out of this tent. What's not to love? I think anyone can do this. It doesn't have to be a brutal snow camp. But you don't have to stop just because it's raining and it's cold. You just find a way. If it was really cold, I'd eat inside the tent. And you don't need a hot tent. You don't need one of those stoves and feeding fire, you know, feeding wood and stuff like that. Just uh, uh, Mr. Heater, buddy, Mr. Heater thing, attached to a propane tank, and you're all set. Give Bruce a little bit more. Go on then, Brucey. Because he's been such a good boy. That was absolutely superb. Wow. That was good. Really good. All right, I need another coffee. <sighs> Telling you, this is the way to do it. especially with solar, those solar panels, when I use them on the next one, on the next trip, forget gas.
The only thing I'm going to use the gas for is heating the tent, sitting in front of the gas fryer. Because that little heater that I had, that will burn these batteries out in no time. They're just not efficient. Maybe an oil heater would be better. Might have to try that. Because oil heaters retain the heat. They're better than those ceramic things. So maybe that's the way to go. So it's just drizzling. Which suits me. It, it rained quite a lot last night. And I don't want to get any more pooling, although it is pooling now. So, to recap, what do I think of this setup and location and everything? Well, I love the beach. I love being by the beach. The only thing is the waves are so loud. Um, although they a bit quieter this morning. When I got here, they were horrendously loud. The, the tent, excellent, really good, but the condensation actually at the top was horrendous and it did shower down a little bit so and that's with the vents open so the way to fix that is with the rain fly the outer fly next time I'm definitely going to use that and that forms a barrier and that stops that condensation from happening so rain fly over the top perfect I also have for the awning uh, side panels which means you can sit out in the wind. Um, but again, I didn't want to bring all of that for just an overnighter. This is a lot for an overnighter as it is. But I think if I'm going on the road with this setup and that I might spend two nights in one spot, then yeah, why not? Have all the creature comforts. The awning on the car, on the truck, it's handy. Yeah, it is handy, um, especially for cooking and stuff like that. There's some modifications I might make, but it's, it's pretty good. But the tent is excellent, tons and tons of space. I wish I could stand up in it. I could only just stand up at the very front of the tent, definitely not at the back. Uh, so six foot, Up to six foot, you're okay. Okay, above six foot, you can't stand up in this. This is the RV3. I think the RV4 and 5, you probably could at the front again. Um, but that's okay. You can stand up outside. The pooling of the water, that's just because I haven't guided it properly. But it's waterproof. Definitely, definitely waterproof. There's no leaking at all. The seams are superb. Very happy with that. And the floor, this bathtub floor is incredibly thick. The, as I said, the thickest material of any floor for a tent I've ever seen. Um, so you don't need a ground sheet for this at all. No, I'm happy. It's expensive, this tent, very expensive. Very bulky to pack up and put on the roof of your, of your truck. There's no way you're putting this in a car unless you've got a roof rack. Uh, that's big and <laughs> your car can take it. Uh, I think this is 20 kilos as well. So it definitely needs two of you to lift it up. Come here, Brucey, come on. Where have you been? Have you been to check out our neighbors? Come around here. Here, come around here. He's been exploring. So yeah. Oh, you're wet. That's raining and you've been lying out in it. You're wet, Bruce. Sorry, wet dog. Happy, happy days. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna sit, have my coffee, look at the waves, and bring you back for packing everything down. Oh, packing everything up. Always a nightmare when it's wet. Nothing fits like it should. But at least this tent is easy to pack up. A minute to pack this tent up, I think. Maybe just a bit more than a minute. Whereas the Wawona, it takes like 10 minutes to pack it up and it's a real pain. So this will be much, much faster. All right, everyone.
Catch you later. Okay, welcome back everybody. It is time to pack up. Oh, it's a bit I dread every time. Because <laughs> it just takes ages. All right, I've turned the heater off already. This thing was a godsend. So what I was saying was, last night, there's this outlet port here for power supply. It zips up completely. That's very handy. So you can pass cables into the tent or a heating cord like that, gas cord, very handy. Okay, that needs to cool down quite a bit before it goes back in the box. Oh, it's a whole load of carnage in here. You know what? I'm gonna have to fast forward this bit. Go. Okay, that's everything in the tent sorted. I uh, just gotta take lanterns down, deflate these. So I don't know if you noticed these. These are solar lanterns. Um, M-Power by Lucy. I don't know if you can see that. And they've got a solar panel on them. So I got that idea from uh, the tip from Jörg at Go4x4. Thanks for that, Jörg. Just deflate them. They seem to last all night. I had one outside all night. And they flat pack, don't weigh much. And you can also use this particular model as a charger as well. So you can charge it by cable or you can charge something else from the battery in here. So I set up two of those inside and they definitely did the trick. They were bright enough. And yeah, if you're on a long road trip, you can then put these on your dashboard of your car and just recharge them. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna get all this loaded in the car, in the truck, and then, uh, start breaking down the actual tent. <sighs> right, where do I start? Bruce is just happy lying under the car, watching the fan tails. So the little birds, you probably can't see them, but they're, <laughs> they're hassling Bruce. There's a tiny one here right now. And they just land on the, the guy lines and they're just taking off the, uh, the insects. Bruce loves them, he loves watching them. And he never goes for them, it's very good. Okay. Might just let Bruce, the dishwasher, sort my plate out. Right. Waffle maker, awesome piece of kit. This one is a Breville. Picked it up pretty cheap. I picked up the things that I picked up to cook all this stuff on. I did primarily, I checked to see what the wattage it all was because I wanted low wattage stuff, like this kettle, the air fryer. I needed the lowest wattage stuff possible so I could run as much as possible with the battery pack.
Okay. Still got loads of kindling left. So my new truck canopy, oh Bruce, you pushed the plate all the way over here. My new truck canopy is much bigger, much bigger space and it has those gull wing doors on the side that are superb. Okay. And this, this top actually slides all the way out so you can load stuff onto it uh, in case you can't reach. But it is a huge space. Okay. Let's disconnect one of these batteries. Oops, sorry, Brucey. He knows we're going home. All right, let's put this in the back. Uh, it's still drizzling. It hasn't, it's sort of been on and off. You saw I did the drone. Just to give you an idea of where I was. It was drizzling then as well. Ah, oh, okay, what else is to go? Gas bottle. Yeah, if you've never used one of these Mr. Buddy heaters, oh, they are superb. The only problem is you just can't regulate the temperature of this. It's all or nothing. You can't turn it down or anything. Um, which to be honest is a bit of a pain because that was really hot last night. I wish you could see these little fantails. All right, we can unplug the fridge and put that in the back of the truck. Uh, you know what was in here and I didn't have last night? And my wife made me some lemon drizzle cake and I forgot to have it. To be honest, I was stuffed. Thank you, darling, I'll have it when I get home. Okay, we will unplug the fridge and put that in the back of the truck. I just got this from a local electrical store. I think it's a brass monkey and it does both 12 volt and mains. So it's designed for truck camping, car camping, that sort of stuff. Pretty robust unit. Plug that back in to the car. And just secure it with a bungee. Oops. All right. What's going in next? 
I need to put the fire pit in. So the fire pit, there is a bag available for it and they didn't supply one. <laughs> so I've got to buy one separately. Yeah, this was nice and hot, this thing, last night. The winner well. And this was the extra large version. And as I say, they are looking to get me a bag for it. Bruce's dog bed. My bed, which was very comfortable, I have to say. This thing was amazing. Thoroughly recommend it. The Oztent Stratus XL self-inflating mattress. Very long, very comfortable. Whew, okay, what next? Right, I think it's time to put the Starlink away. So I have to stow the Starlink. So you go to settings and stow. Stow your Starlink. And that's it. Oh, I scared the fantail off. Starlink stowed. So we can unplug this Starlink router. Okay. We'll give the dishy a wipe. That's what it's called. This is going to be a godsend when I'm on the road. Because where I'm going, there is just no signal. Goes neatly in the box. Sand flies. So sand flies uh, are like mosquitoes. Not as bad, but oh, they can be really irritating. There you go. All right, Starlink sorted. So everything has got to come back out when I get home and everything's got to be dried off, um, which is a major pain. Okay, let's get everything else out of the tent. Yes. So this is why you need these big gull wings and a big canopy so you can fit stuff in the side, no problem. Okay, let's shut down the EcoFlow. So with the EcoFlow, uh, what are we at? We're at June 23rd. With this EcoFlow battery system, there is a special promotion on Amazon Prime uh, for Prime Day, um, which is coming up, I think, July 9th, something like that. So I'll put the, I'll put the link in the description uh, how you can pick one of these up um, at a brilliant discount on Amazon Prime on the uh, Prime Day. All right, time to, I think, pack the, uh, the tent away first and then put that on the top. All right, so I need to get all the guys put away. get all the stakes out of the ground first. Okay, make sure that there's nothing in the pockets. Oh, let's close these vents. Yeah, these vents were good, but still there was a ton of condensation in there at the top on the roof, I didn't realize. So definitely want the fly. All right, next up, take the poles down. I think I might actually use my own guy ropes in future for the poles, for this tarp. 
just because I don't like the locking mechanism that comes with these ones. Just like a plastic catch. Okay. Instruction manual also comes with some material to fix everything. The floor, mesh, everything. That's pretty good. So if you puncture it, tear it, whatever. But I just can't see you doing that. Because it's so well made. Even if this takes me a couple of minutes, it's still so much faster than dealing with the Wawona. Okay, so each corner, the guys that are built in, these tuck into these pockets. Nice and easy, no fuss. So they're always there ready for the next time. Like that. All right, let me do that on all the corners. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, easily this is the best tent I've got for car camping now. It overtakes the Wawona. Because it is just so simple. You're not dealing with tons of poles. You have to be pretty tall to do the Wawona by yourself. There's a lot of faff. And putting it, putting it away in the bag is a nightmare. What I might do with this is just spray it once it's dry with a, a better DWR treatment, just so it doesn't pool, because I can see that it's, it's sort of making a mark and yeah, that I'm sure there's better, better DWR treatments that, that, than are on here. The roof dried out quite well, but there's, it's raining now, so more water is going on it. All right, next we need to roll up the awning. Let's try and get as much water off it as possible. Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> oh. I don't know what time it was in the middle of the night when it started chucking down in rain. But, <laughs> At least we haven't had that today. Just drizzle. Okay. So this rolls up quite easily because it's got this thick strip in the middle of it. Okay, let's get this done before it really chucks down. The fact that it's got a built-in awning. Excellent. And it's a rugged awning as well. Okay. That's pretty much it. Right, let's get in there and close it up. Okay, so there's one of these on each side. Undo that. Undo the other one. Okay. And then this, you pop this down like that, and you do that with the other one as well. And hey presto, the whole thing comes down. Let me move that out of the way so you can see it. Easy peasy, and that's it, flat pack. Okay, and then you switch them around. Let me pull this. So A, is it A first? Can't remember, I think so. Should be. Yeah. So A, and then B. Have I got that the right way around? You know what? I bet I haven't. But it's the other way. No. Okay. I should have practiced this at home. Whew. 
it's still a hell of a lot easier than than the big tent. I'm sure it was this way. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, I left the strap there. And then you attach the strap. I reckon after you've done this, couple of times. Piece of cake. Come on, I mean that wasn't difficult. And that's it. You got the big waterproof bag. Now, some of the reviews I read said that the bag could be a little bit bigger. That they struggled to get it in. Well, let's see. Stakes. So there's only one zip, maybe that's what they were talking about, making it more difficult. Oops. Yeah, I could see where if you haven't packed it in really tightly, it would be a problem. I think two people could get this done so much easier. Two zips, Oz tent. You need two zips. I agree. It's, it's a bit finicky at this end. Yeah, I'd say two zips and you're done. It would be good. Okay, probably easier to lift it up. I think what it is, is the bag is twisted. <sighs> yeah. How long will this bag last? I don't know. They should have oversized it a bit more than this. Yeah, so two zips would have solved it. Made that a lot easier. Okay, let's get it on the roof. that it has a lot of grab handles. Wow, this thing is big. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's secure, good. Not so bad, all right, let's get the awning done. All right, now I did test 
putting this awning away. <laughs> it was a nightmare. All right, first things first, let's put the poles back up. That is very easy to do. That's very well thought out. Got these rubber stoppers on them that make it very easy to put on. So these, these green rubber stoppers, they just slot in firmly. You don't have to use the poles. This is self-supporting as you'll see now. But in the wind or the rain, you definitely want to use them. All right, let's get all this water off. Just in case anyone says it wasn't raining, just because the camera doesn't pick it up, doesn't mean it's not raining. Okay, undo this strap here. See, lots of rain. And undo this one here. Okay, got to get as much of this water off as possible. Might need to leave that to just drain for a minute. <laughs> There's a lot of water coming off this still. even with this DWR treatment. Okay, so you're gonna fold these two in first. <laughs> so when you have a car that is as high as mine is, a truck, with the lift, reaching everything is a nightmare. Okay. That looks good, okay. Got some straps at the top. Free those first. Okay. And then, fold it up. Now this is a nightmare, I'm telling you. This is not easy to do. Why Iron Man have made this so difficult? I don't know, but it is a snug fit. And with water on, it's even more snug. Oh, okay. We good? Yeah. Same zips as the Ostent. <laughs> heavy, heavy duty, but man, they're a pain to close. See, this is barely gonna close. 
I might have to do this again because I don't think that's going to close. And I had this problem when I tested it at home. It gets to this point and it just gets jammed. It's one thing doing it on the floor in the factory, but when it's mounted, oh, I've got it. Okay. I'm whinging about nothing. I think it's just practice. Okay. Woo. It's hot work, hot work. All right. <laughs> I think for two nights, it's definitely worth it. I mean, even one night, but just no rain and having longer. I just don't have a lot of time. I need to get home. Right, I need to pack up the big camera and we'll go mobile. All right, all packed up. Come on, Brucey. Go on then. Mind your tail. That's it. Okay. All right, let's get moving. that little bit of drone footage of me driving out. Thanks again, everyone, for coming. I hope you enjoyed it. We did, uh, considering it was uh, meant to be a different place by a river. We ended up by the sea, but it was beautiful. I'm sorry it's jumping around a lot. Um, thank you again to EcoFlow for sponsoring this video. Thank you to everyone who bought us treats, uh, members of our YouTube channel, uh, buy me a coffee and everyone who said thanks on YouTube and everyone who bought merchandise sweaters T-shirts cups and Brucey stuff and Brucey says thank you too. Don't you Bruce? Bruce Did you have fun? Did you have fun? Yes, you did. I Think he had lots of fun and he got to play on the beach for a bit as well Which he loves. It's a very muddy four-wheel drive track out so it's a long, a long trek along this road. It'll take me about an hour and a bit to get home. Um, and then I can start editing and uploading. All right, everybody. Thanks again for coming on this one. Hope you had fun. We have fun and see you soon for our, hopefully for our road trip that's about to happen. So catch you later, everyone. Bye. Bye, Brucey. You gonna say goodbye? Bruce? Say goodbye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>